going on guys welcome back for another episode uh we're gonna be doing another another little video on the trooper the new one yeah so he's in the background he's working on his forerunner but today we're going to be tackling some rear wheel bearings and axle seals because my end are starting to leak which is not surprising they're pretty old uh i just ordered these off of rock auto oh, my dad ordered them but we got the race and then the actual bearing itself this is a national bearing part number 511016 you can see that right 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 there or there. i don't know if that's the right way if it'll i think it's gonna have it flipped around but 51106 is a national bearing so we're gonna go ahead and crack that sucker open and see exactly what uh what it looks like it is a sealed bearing i know that one so that's uh that's it. That's a big. That's a big boy. Look at that thing. Yeah. That's the unit. This is obviously going to go in here in the rear hub. But in order to do that, we must first. Put that back in the box real quick. Since it's sealed, I don't have to worry about it getting you know dirty or nothing. But in order to get that out, first things first is we must remove. The parking brake shoes, which are also getting replaced. I know they look good, but they are covered in a very, very thick layer of grease and oil from where the bearing seal has been leaking. As you can see, pretty much all of inside is covered. You can see there where it's been dripping. So I'm going to go ahead and replace these for good measures, and then I'm also going to wash that rear rotor out really well, degrease it. That way it has a proper friction, because I don't know if you can see that, but just rubbing my finger on there it gets really glazy from the oil that's soaked into that pad so we're gonna bust these out really quick and after you remove that i need to disconnect the parking brake and remove it from the back side with i believe a 10 millimeter bolt located right in here and that'll come out and after i pull that out it'll be these giant bolts on the back side there's four of them i'm um, pretty sure these are 19s so there's one here one here one here and another one down there and that's going to allow me to pull out my axle all the way and then i'll get the bearing get a bearing puller pull the bearing out once i pull the bearing out the seal will come out with it as well i'm pretty sure and then we gotta press in the new one press in the new seal slip the axle back on with the hub assembly and everything put the parking brake cable back in and then you know parking brake shoes make sure all that stuff is good adjust the parking brake grease up my caliper slide pins throw the wheel on it wham bam thank you ma'am it's done but that's the easy part is saying how it's done we're gonna get right into it i hope you guys enjoyed this video um yeah if you have any questions about what i'm doing in the process i'm gonna try and explain it really good this time and document everything i usually just kind of skip through some things so we're gonna work on that because I want you guys to see exactly what goes into building these trucks and specifically what goes into building the trooper. So let's get started. So as you can see, we already got the parking brake pulled off. Um, I just kind of sped it up a little bit. Get it a little boring. But now that's off, the next step is gonna be to go behind the actual uh, axle hub housing assembly, whatever. Uh, I still need to remove the parking brake cable from the rear, which is actually two 10 millimeter bolts, I think. Um, two, yeah, two 10 mils on the back. And then the parking brake cable on the back side, which is right here, which comes into the bottom somewhere down in here. Uh, that'll come out. Once that's out, then it's 
undo those 419s that I showed you in the beginning. And it'll slide out. So yeah, but I think, uh, I think that's pretty much all I'm gonna do for right now. I'll go eat some dinner and then we'll get cracking on this again tomorrow because all this stuff is getting done after work so you can already tell i don't know if you can or not we're losing daylight and we're losing daylight quick it always happens so i'm gonna go eat dinner and hit this again hard tomorrow Say hi, girl. Say hi. Hi. We're back on day two of the whatever we're doing this thing. So, all we gotta do now to get this axle tube out is remove the parking brake and then that. So, let's get right into it. Now that these last two bolts are out, this cable should be able to just kind of. Yeah. Slides out like that. We're going to set it down to the side and then we're ready to start removing all of these bolts here. Final 17 millimeter nut. There's four of them. Now, you get a catch can, place it underneath the axle tube right here. So when it separates from the actual axle tube, the hub assembly, if it leaks any fluid, it'll fall out into the catch can and not all over the floor on my feet. Until it reaches that point where it pops free, which it just did right now. And I don't know if you can see the fluid leaking out the bottom of it. It's coming out right there. View of what I just did. I took the brass hammer because I don't want to hit anything too hard. And then you just lightly tap on it until it spreads apart like this. Sometimes you might need to get a uh, pry bar, prying screwdriver, punch hammer, whatever, and actually spread it out more. But right now it's completely free, so we're gonna go ahead and set you guys back up. And then this axle tube and axle shaft and everything, or the hub assembly and axle shaft will slide out all the way. my assembly right there as you can see it since I'm replacing the new seal I didn't really have to worry about being too cautious on letting this scrape against it but if you ever do this and you don't plan on replacing your seal which I mean if you're going to do this you might as well be careful not to let the shaft actually fall onto the seal and drag across it because what that can do is it can either pinch it tear it 
or you know cause any other imperfection in it, which will you know down the line it'll lead to it leaking eventually. But if you're already at this point, or you're even remotely getting close to doing something like this, just go ahead and replace your seal. It'll save you the trouble down the road. So I'm going to clean all this up really quick, and then we're going to get the hub assembly off of the axle shaft. That way I can remove that, that outer bearing. And then we'll clean up all along the face of the axle tube. We'll pull that inner seal out or outer seal whichever one you want to call it and go ahead and start the process on putting in the new ones so this is just kind of a common practice so you see this is already kind of covered in gear oil and stuff you don't want to keep using this rag on your hands because if you wipe this and then wipe your hands all you're going to be doing is covering your hands in gear oil so once you get a rag that's dedicated to gear oil keep it if you're going to use something else to wipe your hands go ahead and grab yourself some fresh ones that way, if you go to wipe something else off, you're not smearing oil everywhere and getting everything else dirty or wiping a tool down and getting it full of oil. It's just a, a good common practice to take. So we're gonna clean this face off, like I said, and I just wanna kinda go through and get all the big crud off. And then we're gonna go inside, remove all the residual oil that's still chilling out right here. So that way, whenever I pry this, actual seal out i don't fling oil specks everywhere and make an even bigger mess than i started with all right so that's looking pretty clean or clean enough to comfortably work on it and that seal is just pressed in there which visibly I'm not seeing anywhere that it's torn or leaking from, but that doesn't mean that it's not damaged in some type of way. Let me get you guys. See the seals in there. And it's wiped down and looks pretty good, but it was leaking this was all covered with oil and the outer face you can see down here where it's getting wet and obviously the rotor is drenched in oil so that's gotta go we're gonna pry that out really fast and then go ahead and press in the new one and then we'll work on on the bearing so we got the rest of the truck over there torn apart and the inner seal which we thought would be considered the outer but it's not there's actually another seal inside of this which is the outer so i'm gonna have to wait till tomorrow or friday rather when i get a chance to work on this to get the new seals for the inner and then we'll replace it but in the time being we're gonna go ahead and remove the c-clip here which is going to retain our actual our stub our actual shaft once we get that out the hub assembly will come off of the axle shaft and then from the back side or the face, the face side, it'll push out where we'll press it out on the press over there. Well, we're going to start by getting this C-clip removed. Try not to kill myself in the process. These suckers are not nice. Okay. Let me get a little screwdriver. And what I'm going to do is basically just, now that this side over here is out, I'm going to start to walk it out the rest of the way. Might have to spread it some more still though. While I'm struggling with this, I'd like to say thank you to everybody that subscribed recently. It really means a lot to me. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead, go out while I'm struggling here and click that subscribe button, turn on notifications because it makes me happy. It makes me motivated to keep making cool content like this. I really hope everybody's enjoy it. And let's just get right back to me struggling. We're gonna take our screwdriver here. And while we're spreading it out, which is here and here, with our expansion pliers. We're gonna kind of walk it up and see if we can't get it to pop out of its seat. Okay. Okay. 
So we got one side out. Now you gotta kind of be a little careful with these. Not, I mean, careful because you don't want it to go blow up in your face, but they're also hardened steel, so you don't want to twist them and crack them, break them apart. They're designed to go like this, not like that. You gotta be a little gentle. There we go. Which even once it's out of its seat, it's still hard. So there's your clip right there. And that locks in right there in that lip. So we're gonna set this to the side. pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it it started getting a little long and late dinner was made you know whole nine whatever so we're gonna go ahead and make this a two-part video like i said if you're enjoying it please 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 subscribe you guys have no idea how much it helps i'm not getting paid for any of this i'm spending all my time of course making these videos so i do it for you guys the few people that subscribe thank you if you haven't subscribed go do it you're missing out a bunch of cool stuff is coming